Hey guys, how's it going out there? It's the Bitcoin Miner here. Um, I've got a few videos I've been working on and posting over the last couple of weeks um, that have to do with me building GPU miners. So as we all know, the profitability of the S7s have gone down. Uh, we just have the S9s, um, which are great. Uh, I love the machines, don't get me wrong. Um, I I'm still all in for Bitcoin. That's really my main goal. But you know after coinbase added ethereum um you know made a, basically a wallet an easy place to store it an easy place to sell it uh, a place that i trust uh and you know it was a large name so that made me interested in ethereum and you know ethereum really hasn't been around that long so i started doing some more research and i've noticed some of the other bitcoin miners on youtube have uh, switched to it as well or not necessarily switched but you know i've dabbled in it as well so it perked my interest so i started doing a bunch of research and it perked my interest as well. Uh, and come to find out, it's actually more profitable to mine than Bitcoin. Um, how long that's going to last, I'm not sure. There is something coming up which they're calling POS, which is proof of stake. Um, they said it was going to happen this summer. Now they're saying it's going to happen early next year. Um, I think it's coming really soon. You're going to have to do your own research on it. It's it's. I really don't understand Ethereum too well. It's a very complicated, complex coin. It definitely has its value. Do not get me wrong. And that's what's got me interested in it. I definitely uh, am more, I am a Bitcoin person, but at the same time, I can mine Ethereum for a higher profit, is the way I'm looking at this, and convert it to Bitcoin. So I'm still getting my Bitcoin, and I'm converting power to Bitcoin, just at a better rate by using Ethereum. And at the same time, I do like Ethereum, so I think I'm going to actually stash some Ethereum as well. I think it's very early uh, stages in it, so I definitely want to probably try to put away half of it that I'm able to get my hands on. Uh, I did a rig earlier, which was my first rig. I finally got six graphics cards running. They were these, the Radon RX 480 8GB. I mean, I had the hardest time to get six graphics card running. Um, so the first card I actually got in stock um, when I ordered, I designed, I wanted to build two of them. Uh, one being six of the R9 uh, 390Xs and then six of the RX uh, 480. Um, I guess they're just not the Xs, but the eight gigabyte ones as well. Now, uh, again, I started dabbling with these. I've got another rig downstairs, which I'll do another video on later on, where it shows that it has... Uh, I had the hardest time anyways. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to do this quick video to show you guys what material I used, what parts, um, what worked, what didn't work, and kind of just go through a brief rundown of it. I kind of wished I had found a video or somebody to explain some of this stuff to me. And basically, or at least compile it in one place. Um, I tried another motherboard. Apparently, there's lots of boards you can use. Um, they do work. Um, I try. I actually accidentally ordered the H97 Pro, which worked fairly well, but I could only get three cards to run on it for whatever reason. I couldn't figure it out. Sometimes I can get four to run, but it wasn't stable. So I wind up sending those back, and I wind up ordering H97 Anniversary. I really do like this card. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is, you know, it's got the PCI slot. This is a six. Well, actually, it's five. There you go. Yeah, so it's got one, two, three, four, five of the smaller slots and one of the bigger slots. Um, so, and the processor, which I bought, works great. I think it's like. 35 bucks or something oh yeah by the way guys you can check out um uh amazon had a great deal on this stuff on the last weekend it may still be going uh, who knows i think it was like 35 dollars for this um i think i paid 35 dollars or 40 dollars for eight gigs of ram um there's a couple of different ways that you can mount these things you're going to be able to use the powered risers uh with the usb and or uh, let me find it. Hold on. Or this gadget right here. This is just a ribbon riser. So this build that you see behind me is going to be my first ribbon riser. I've uh, already posted how I did the other build. So if you go and check out the other builds, it's exactly the same build. 
The only difference is, as I mentioned before, we could use this part as a float instead of posting it at the top. We can mount it to the sides and go up and down with it. All I did was lower this side rack a little bit and then I changed my posting of this bar uh, in this location here. And that's about it. Motherboard's still going to go there. So let's see. All right, now let me go over some of these parts. Okay, so I have not tried the risers yet. This is the first time I'm going to try them over here. I've been using this version. So far, they seem to work okay to me. You know, I did try to do some wire management on one of them, and I noticed getting some glitches and problems. I undid my wire management, and it was perfect. So there may be feedback issues, and there may not be. Um, hard to say, guys. I'm new at this. I'm trying to learn as I go. If you want to use two power supplies, these things are awesome. I had the hardest time finding them. I went ahead and ordered you know, a couple extra of them because uh, I knew that these bad boys pulled a lot of power and I was going to wind up using two power supplies. Uh, it, but at the same time, I couldn't get the other rig to run more than four. So that, that's another video. And I happen to have these power supplies around. So I'm not going to wind up even using those. But, you know, check them out. They're awesome. Uh, that's the way to do it, to run two of them. I think there's a few shortcuts you can do. Uh, I'd I rather just uh, buy those. Much better solution. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go here now. And I just wanted to cover some of those basics. Oh, yeah. forgot. I like to use good thermal paste, Arctic Silver, um, instead of the stuff that just came on the CPU fan. Uh, I, To me, it's just that much better of a thermal paste. So it helps keep the CPU cooler. Uh, oh, yeah, and this was, I just got one of these, I think it was $35, maybe 40 bucks for the Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD. Um, so there we go, guys. That's the complete rig. Uh, and I'm going to do another video here shortly showing you how I'm actually mounting the motherboard and putting everything together. Talk to you later on.